you know what's the saddest thing in the world? What is the saddest thing in the world, Cassie? Please tell me. When a go-go dancer might as well have been called a dodo dancer because she is extinct. She was gone! She's I like the way you said that. I love the way you did that. <laughs> she was found in the club bathroom last night, okay? What a way to go. Get rid of her and throw her in the toilet. Yeah. The detective identified three suspects. These three suspects were interviewed the next day. You get to be Gloria. Okay. I look like a Gloria. What were you doing that night? Our costume designer bought new costumes yesterday, so... I was trying on the new outfits. I had nothing to do with that go-go dancer in the bathroom. My costume was ripped, and I had no change in the club. <laughs> okay. So I had to cancel my performance and go home. I was running around shops buying new costumes. I've showed up in the club with new outfits only today. Who did it? Who did the Iggy? Who did the dirty? Who did the stinky Iggy? Chloe is saying that she just got brand new costumes for the day, so I was trying them on. Glorious, kind of trying to throw shade at that theory by saying, um, mine was ripped, so it wasn't new. And Claudia was saying, Chloe didn't have any costumes, I had to go buy one. I just got it today. So I think it was Chloe. I'm gonna piggyback on you. Have my le legs wrapped around and <laughs> piggybacking on you with this riddle right now. Yeah, well, let's hope that I don't drop you. Chloe. Bam! Ah, you carried me to greatness, Cassie. The new outfits have been brought here only today. She couldn't have been trying them on yesterday. Hmm, she lied. That's me. I'm a mistake. <laughs> there was a party hosted by Jack and his wife. Look at that party. They got dogs, food, stereo, pool, scooter guy, all sorts of great things. Every time a guest came, the owner's dog barked. <laughs> Several guests didn't like it. <laughs> It is very annoying. Fred and <laughs> Margaret even had a fight with Jack about it. Asking him to lock the dog somewhere. He's annoying. He's ruining our party, man. <laughs> yay, yay, yay. The next morning, some neighbors heard Jack scream and a gunshot. Please don't kill the dog. No, 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 no. Not no, my no. dog. Oh, oh thank God better. it's just the guy. <laughs> the police arrived and found him dead, but the dog was poifect. The dog still lives! The police interviewed those who had had a fight with Jack. That's fair. I mean, what do you think, Fred? We had a little conflict yesterday, but I wouldn't kill him. You sure about that, Fred? I'm definitely sure. Because of the dog, they quarreled with Fred. She barks at everyone except the owners. Like, hello, it's kind of annoying, but I wouldn't commit murder. Jack's wife. I haven't been home all day. Couldn't have been me. I cannot imagine who could do this. I'm sus of her. It was her. Yeah, I'm sus. It was her because the dog was chilling. True. Cassie? That is correct. That is correct. Oh, oh, was that long pause you thinking? Yeah, it was, well, it was me going, hey, you know what? This Jay guy, he's all right. Yeah. Hey, he's all right. Yeah, he's it all right. It was Jack's wife. <laughs> yeah, the dog's okay. The neighbors heard a scream and a shot, but the dog didn't bark, so a stranger couldn't have done it. The dog was it. chilling. This nasty, nasty woman. These are getting kind of dank. I'm going to skip these, this one. These... These are getting kind of demonetized, you know? Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, they really are. Seven second riddles. You guys need to calm down with the blood, okay? Yeah, that's enough. Mary and Jane <laughs> were walking in the park. Mary and Jane, huh? Yes, they were walking in the park and they found a roll of money. They hit the jackpot. Cha-ching! Each of them claimed that it was her who found the money first. Cat fight! Who is lying. You know, I would never do that to you, Cassie. Yes, you would. No, I would never tug on the money like that. I would just punch you in the face and keep the money for myself. I'd knock you all cold and say, my money. Uh, well, we can look at the footprints okay. and find out who had it yeah. first. So, whose footprint... Who, can you pause it real quick? Yeah. Whose footprints are the ones that look like leaves walking from left to right? Uh, the stilettos. So, blonde girl's lying. She walked past it and then says, scar, scar! And then, like, started tugging on the money. <laughs> Jane is lying. <laughs> Jane! Jane! You filthy liar, Jane. She's so, she's so dirty. Instead of stabbed, can you say, uh, blessed with a knife? Right. You say blessed? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's blessing up. Blessing up. <laughs> <laughs> so blessed with a knife? Yeah. <laughs> A rich man named Carl was blessed with a knife in his house <laughs> in the evening. <laughs> the detective found his day planner and got to know. He got to know, Cassie, <laughs> that Carl expected three visitors that evening. You sure about that, Carl? Uh-oh. His classmate was going to return him a large sum of money. 
His assistant was going to bring papers to sign. Okay. His girlfriend was coming to have a date. Okay. The detective interviewed all the suspects. I was in a hurry and I just gave money to Carl and left. Duh. That doesn't sound right. That doesn't sound right at all. He took the papers and said he'd sign them the next day. Carl called me at the last minute and canceled the date, so I'm not really sure what's going on with that. I think the girlfriend's telling the truth. I think so too. I think because he has a phone in his hand, there's no papers there that for him to sign. <gasps> but there's no money either. There's no stacks of money. It could be in his pocket, right? True. Let's just say. I'm gonna say classmate, you're gonna say assistant. How's that? Yeah, because there's no papers for him to sign. But he said he'll sign them tomorrow. So did he take the papers back or did he leave the papers for him to sign? You know what? I'm just gonna go with assistant. I'm going with classmate. Come on, assistant, classmate. Assistant, assistant. Come on, come on. What? Oh, two glasses of wine, the day wasn't canceled. She blessed him, Cassie. She blessed him and put the phone in his hand like a dirty, dirty girl. Dirty dog. Laura went to university. She stayed in the hostel. All seemed well. Look at that guy behind her. Oh, oh! <laughs> Once Laura noticed she was being stalked every time she came home, she saw a man in a mask chasing her. That's why you take uh -oh. the phone and call the police. <gasps> One day, Laura received a letter. Uh-oh, what does this say? What does it say? And she immediately went to the police. What's, What's the, matter? the matter? Rule. <laughs> Someone wants to kill me! Hi, detective. Only you can find him. She will be killed. Time to decide. Either you find him or she dies. Lastly, Nebar is not the bad guy. It's quite the other way around. What? Okay. Look, look at the first letter from each word. It spells out hostile. Well, it spells hostile. 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 The detective immediately guessed where to find the maniac. In the hostel, right? Building I, of course. Yeah, that wasn't a very well-hidden note. No, it was not. Who wrote the note, though? Why would he put hostel in there? He's an idiot. The detective headed to the hostel. Oh, Two-part riddle. Yeah. I was observing stars through my telescope. I'm far too nerdy. I was studying for the test. I was with my girlfriend, of course. Couldn't have been me. I've got a girlfriend. I was locked in the basement. I don't know who did it. I spent the whole night there and the note says it's not me. My name's Never. <laughs> who names their kid Never? Someone who wants the kid to never get caught. <laughs> <laughs> he never did nothing. The detective looked through the letter again. Who is the maniac? Is there anything that's like diagonal or backwards? Never is not the bad guy. It's quite the other way around. So who's the opposite of never? Raven? I don't remember their freaking names. Ned? Uh, the guy was named Raven. Oh, I thought it was because- Never is not the bad guy. It's the other way around. Yeah, so that's never is Raven backwards. However, it's also because However. never was stuck in a basement and Raven was staring at the stars through his telescope. <laughs> So what does that mean? It's the opposite. That one of them is deep in the ground and one of them is high in the sky. Wow, man, this riddle is getting deep. I know, right? It's getting intense. <laughs> so the maniac is Raven. Raven, it's gotta be. It's gotta be. Ah, bro. It's gotta be. Oh, but it's for your reason and not mine with the basement and the stars. But that's fine. I was just trying to be poetic about it, okay? This is so stupid. Which model is a man? Like, or what are we supposed to say? The one with hairy legs? My legs are that hairy. <laughs> I Give know. me a break. My legs aren't even that hairy and I'm a man. Jeffrey got lost in the woods. At midnight, he came across an ancient castle. The owner of the castle invited him to spend the night. Would you like to come and sleep in my ancient castle? Ooh, can I be that guy? Can I be that bald guy? Yes. But in the morning, he refused to let Jeffrey go. Here are three doors. Oh, he's so creepy. One of them leads to freedom. The others hide deadly traps behind them. You may ask the guard only one question about the doors. The guard may answer only yes, no, or stay silent. Good luck. Okay, this is intricate. Um, I would say, oh, uh, I would say, is this door safe? But you can only ask once. Can you open the safe door? And then he's like, no, and then it's game over. It's a GG. So he can only ask one question, right? Yes. And that question is going to open the safe door. Am I am I thinking correctly? Yes. So can you open the correct door? That's stupid. That I just slapped myself for even thinking that. I slapped myself for thinking that. Okay. So 
Cassie, mm-hmm. if I may call you Cassie. Uh, you may not. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry, Miss. Call me Gorthy. Miss Gorthy. Yes. <laughs> what are we even doing? Uh, what charmed. We doing? <laughs> okay. Gorthy. Yes. Listen, it has to be one of those trick questions to get him to open the right door. That's what I do know. <laughs> I don't know anything else. I'm, I'm scared, Cassie. Help uh, me. Because why would you add stay silent with yes or no? So I feel like anything you ask him, he has to stay silent, which will let this guy know which door leads to freedom. I just point at one door and be like, stay silent if uh, this is the door. Stay silent if this is the door. And then I go through the other door. Boom. Yeah, exactly. Just do process of elimination. What? He should give a name to each door, then ask the guard. Which door is they? Yes, no, or th- oh. oh, that's actually smart. The answer of the guard will be the name of the safe door. But how would the guard know what names he gave the doors? And why would the guard even help him out in the first place? What if the guard doesn't even know? What if the guard's like, yes, and then he opens the door, <laughs> ah! <laughs> and wow. that is why no one ever leaves the ancient house. <laughs> Charlie was walking along the street. <laughs> yeah, what a cool guy. <laughs> when he saw an accident right at the crossroads. <gasps> and oh! There were several people. And I, oh! <laughs> who needed help immediately. The driver who was badly injured. A crying kid. Wait, wait, mommy! And the lady who had heart problems. Help my hip! The police and paramedics hadn't arrived yet. They seemed to be- Please help me, my hip hurts! <laughs> they seemed to get stuck in traffic. Who should I need help- my pills! Who should Charlie help first? Who cares about that little bratty kid and that dead driver? Help me! So, the kid's crying. He's a little brat, but he's not in danger. Like, what's gonna happen? No, the not. street he's light's gonna kill him? I would help the grandma first, personally. I would help the guy in the car because he seems like he's the most injured. When somebody gets really hurt, you're not supposed to move them. Oh, Cassie, see? I know, well, you... you know things that I don't, see? I would have just <laughs> taken that guy out of the car. I would have given him mouth to mouth. You'd have been like, I got you, and like pulled him and broke his neck even more. Exactly. <laughs> I would have been like, don't die on me, buddy. You start pounding on his chest while he's bleeding. Carrying him out or even touching him is really dangerous. Duh. He should help her take her pills as soon as possible, but. Or you could like kick the you pills towards the grandma and then go help the guy <laughs> in the car. <laughs> yeah, like as you're running, kick the pills. <laughs> Just kick him in her mouth real quick. <laughs> <gasps> this is scary. Oh, Stevie! Stevie! <laughs> Stevie was caught by a maniac. Ah, Stevie! He locked him in a dark basement. Oh, he's got a riddle for you, Jay. <laughs> what do you got to say? I'm ready for those riddles. Hopefully they're seven seconds. <laughs> you're supposed to be the guy. Oh, <laughs> they're asking me. I have a riddle for you. If you get it right, gimme, I'll gimme. set you free. If you fail, I'll kill you. <gasps> oh, I'm so scared of him. Here are 10 burning candles. If I blow out three candles, how many of them will remain? Seven? Wait. What should Stevie answer? Wait, there's, there's One's already blown are... out, right? Oh, yeah, three are blown three. out. I thought he was uh, about to blow them out. And so I counted at a seven and minus three and got four. Oh, maybe you're right. No, maybe you're right. Also, uh, if you have 10 candles and you blow out a few, you still have 10 candles. I would say 10 candles. Oh yeah, the, he's trying to trick you. He still has 10 candles. Yeah. Cause he didn't say yeah, yeah. how many are still lit, did he? Yeah, he didn't say 10 flames. He said 10 candles. Here are 10, 10 burning. burning. Oh, burning candles. Okay, never mind. It's four. It's four? I think so. Oh, if it's not four, I'm gonna be really embarrassed. Wait, so we're assuming that he hasn't blown them out yet? Yes. So three are already not burning. And then he's gonna blow out three more? Yes. Okay. I'll go with your answer. You, uh, Cause I feel like sure? the obvious answer would be seven. Okay, you'll go seven, I'll go four. No, but seven's so obvious. What? Three, because the rest will gradually go out. What? You gotta be kidding Wait, me. Wait, that doesn't even make any sense. Yeah, because it says burning candles, but still these three remaining aren't burning can- Okay, I'm done, I'm out. A dangerous criminal escaped from prison. Run, girl, run! She snuck into a large store before the police got there. The criminal had changed her clothes and put on a wig. Who is the escaped prisoner? Sneaker girl. Sneaker girl? She's the only one not wearing high heels. And she's the only one wearing pants. Yeah, she doesn't really fit. Got him. Got him. That is so easy. Like, just give us the answer right now because we got him. <laughs> Nailed it! Billy was partying all night long. Oh, yeah, Billy, all night long. In the morning, he woke up in the sewer. Oh, Billy. He was wandering in the water for a half an hour. Poor Billy. Until he found three tunnels leading outside. 
but they are not safe. Yeah, because there's a... <laughs> <laughs> Hungry alligator. Hungry alligator Love is killing. An acid that can dissolve his body in five seconds. He better get out of that water. He better get out of there in four seconds. Or a deep pit covered with sharp rocks. Which tunnel should he choose, boy? Which tunnel should he choose, Cassie? Which tunnel should he choose? Well, obviously not the acid, am I right? Up top on the acid, Cassie. Uh, I'd just throw the alligator off and go in that one. How about you just ride the alligators back out the tunnel? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I can't really make friends with the animals like you can, so I'm choking out that alligator. I think there's a knife inside of the sewage. I take that, take his head as a prize in my house. Oh, never mind. <laughs> the water <laughs> is running right into the pit, so it must be filled with water. Oh. And you're still going to die from the rocks. Watch. <laughs> and he can jump into it safely. So I had to wrestle an alligator for no reason. Jennifer woke up in a room with three doors. Three doors? Three doors for Jennifer. Which one she gonna pick? There was also a wooden stake and a TV on the wall. Maybe she can use the stake to turn on the TV. Who knows? Suddenly a message appeared on the screen. Choose one of the doors and go out. Hurry. Hurry up. Please hurry. Soon the walls will close in and smash your faces. <laughs> and there's a trap behind each door. Why? Okay, wait. Of course there is, because why not? Lightning that'll kill ya. Yeah, just go. <laughs> Easy money. Flames that'll burn her in three seconds. Okay, so those first two doors. Ah! <laughs> not looking too good. A hungry vampire. Ooh, he's starving. I want to suck all your blood. All right, so you take the stick and go in the vampire door and say, "Yo, what up? What it do?" But it can't reach him though, because it's connected to a chain. Yeah, you Actually, open you it. open it, let him come yeah. in, stanky, stanky through the heart, bam, freedom. The walls are going to close, so you just like open her up. She should wait until the walls are close enough, open the door, kill the vampire, easy money. Stabby, stabby, easy money, baby. Yeah, and then whoop-hoom. Wop. Wa-chang. Bop, bop, Je in pow. the heart. Then you get arrested for murder. Alex escaped from prison by digging a long tunnel. He was crawling underground. And all the other prisoners' feces. Until he saw three tunnels leading to freedom. Three tunnels already? Yeah, he got there. He got quick. The first tunnel's on fire! It's on fire! The second one is Whoa. full of s -s 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 snakes. So crazy animation on that snake. <laughs> the third tunnel is mine. Which path shall he take? Bonk the snake with the shovel. Eat his guts to show that you're a true warrior. <laughs> and go to freedom. I agree. I'm not going through a fire thing or a mine thing. I'd much rather eat some guts. I'd eat the snake's guts while the snake is still alive. I'd go. I'd eat the snake's guts then go through the fire one. Yeah. Wait. <laughs> 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 That's how savage you are, Cassie. <laughs> oh, okay, so I was right, though, because he can put out what the fire happened? with earth. Uh, that's what you said? I said I'd eat the snake's guts and then go through the fire one. Am I right or am I right? Oh, these grandmas are in trouble. Oh, killer. <laughs> Wait, which door is safe? You got grandma with a chainsaw, <laughs> grandma with a flamethrower, or grandma Flame with door. a machete? When she got this, she got them saggy saggies. Uh, I'm going with the chainsaw. I don't think she knows how to turn that thing on. <laughs> that is so rude. I don't think that Grandma C has the strength to hit me with that knife. Yeah, she's she's on her last life. She's like, Ugh. it'd just be like a little tap, you know? <laughs> like she couldn't even cut a cake with that machete. Yeah, whereas the other two don't take strength and can do a lot of damage. Grandma B is the most dangerous. Because she could accidentally flame you. Oh, it's oh. not plugged in. Oh. Why is it my chainsaw working? She's making the noises herself to scare you. Ah, ring, ring, ring. Well, make sure you go to Jay's channel because we got some, we did some doozies actually. And then make sure you uh, hit push notifications for Jay and not me. Undo mine. Take off the bell for Cassie. <laughs> use that use that unused bell on my channel. And then we're good to go. <laughs> then the world will be perfect. <laughs>